not every conflict is a mediation. Not every conflict requires a mediator. When does it not, and what can we do about it? Hi, my name is Adam Halper. I'm a mediator, collaborative attorney, and parenting coordinator. And generally, throughout the month, I get calls from lots of different people in lots of different sectors who call uh, about some generalized issues. I'm not getting along with my in-laws. Do we need a mediator? I'm not getting along with my coworkers. Do we need a mediator? Uh, I just don't like my kid. Do I need a mediator? All kinds of things that, you know, I'm being a little bit jocular here, but believe it or not, I've had these calls a fair number of times. And the answer is, you know, on the broad question, no. You don't always need a mediator. Very often you don't need a mediator because what you're talking about is not a discrete resolution that you're looking for, right? It's about relationship management or management of emotions or feelings. And that really goes to a different place, a place that's more mental health based. So not looking at a mediator generally there. So here are a couple of tips though that I was thinking about and I was uh, trying to help someone not that long ago with a similar type of issue. And this is what I said to them. First, if you're in this place where you're not gonna go to mediation or you don't wanna engage with some other type of process, ask yourself just four questions. What do we want? What are we doing to get it? Is that working? If not, what can we do to make it happen? This is a, these four questions or some variant of them I ask in just about every single mediation that I have, right? And it's a variant of some of the technique that is very commonly used in dialectical behavioral therapy. Uh, next week, I'll talk about that. But in the meantime, if you find yourself in this place where you're not ready to call me or somebody else, in this, uh, somebody else like me, think about these four questions. Generally, a lot of times you'll be able to generate the answers and the ideas yourself, and you'll feel a lot better. Tune in next week, but I'll talk, be talking about DBT. Thanks a lot. Bye.